today's edition of Coyote Nation TV, see how some coyotes are already learning to run their own businesses and figure out if you are the lucky winner of an Andy's gift card. Today is January 24th, 2019, and you're watching Coyote Nation TV live. Hey Coyotes, I'm Ashton Neitz. And I'm Cy Holly. This week has been a struggle. I just got a new job, so I'm trying to like learn how to balance everything. Yeah. But Yeah, I don't have to deal with that because I don't like having a boss. So in the future, I'm going to work for myself and start my own company. Nice. Well, right now, I'm just focused on getting my money, yeah. but that does sound kind of nice to be my own boss. Right. Well, for some of you Coyotes that don't know where to start, but want to take that next step, there's a special course that you can take. Uh, so, yeah. yeah. CNTV's Maya <laughs> Reedy shows us a cool new class students can take to make that dream a reality. The entrepreneurial spirit is growing with more millennials becoming their own bosses. Entrepreneurship is like a field where you want to create your own business and you want to uh, have a startup which then progresses into you know, a global business or maybe you have plans, whatever plans you have for your business. Having a mentor can be beneficial to starting a business, but what if that mentor was a whole course? Incubator is a really great business class where you get the chance um, to start your own company and it's a lot that you run by yourself. So the teacher's in there and she helps us and we're, we're learning different stuff on a weekly basis. We want an education for kids to always have opportunities to reach out and find new ways of thinking and do untraditional things and be more innovative and this course just goes right in line with that. We have certain lessons that coaches come in to teach who are actually experts in the industry um, that can talk to them on those topics and they can ask questions. With this course some students already have a business idea in mind and this class pushes them to jumpstart with the resources it provides. Just like Kelly, I'm in the same team as Kelly, uh, what we're trying to do is uh, trying to make a bed sheet that maximizes efficiency so that nurses when they're uh, giving uh, care to their patients don't have to worry about putting these bed sheets on and spending time out of their day with this unnecessary item. We have blueprints, we have business models, uh, we have interviews. We all have, a lot of times what will happen is that we'll have mentors that are professionals in the field, uh, successful business owners come in and tell us our experience uh, t and teach a lesson I guess essentially about whatever helped them uh, get started. So. A couple of days ago, like last uh, A day, we had a, um, a, I think she does real estate come in and a friend of Miss Hollowell's and teach us how she actually began her um, business in real estate and how she's using marketing to its essential capacity in order to grow her business. And now sh she is one of the, I guess, best like business real estate people in our um, small business around our community. Not only does it help students gain business awareness, but it also helps these potential owners grow their capabilities. The thing about this class is that there's two years to it. So if you're a junior, then uh, you, you'll be able to take the first year and gain all the basic necessities. But if you're a sophomore or a freshman, you'll actually be able to gain two years worth of experience. And the first year is creating your business, getting that mar markup, getting that startup. And then second year is actually growing your business into its full capacity. But it's just a great way for them to learn how to do things that are real world, real business, innovative type atmosphere. I'm Maya Aridi for Coyote Nation TV. Dreams of success aren't as far as they seem. With little hard work and effort, you can achieve your goals. And on the topic of goal scoring, with the new semester brings a new competition. And CNTV's Ashton Eads is here to help us get caught up on this season's sports. Hey, 
Coyotes and welcome to this week's pack recap. I know, long time no see, but that just means I have a lot to catch you guys up on. So as many of you know, basketball season is in full swing. And after those wins against Independence last week and against Centennial the other day, our Coyotes are ready for more, no matter what challenges come their way. My biggest challenge is not focusing in the game and I think I gotta practice more and get better as a team. I'm looking forward to making it to the playoffs this season. Basketball isn't the only season that has to work as a team. Our soccer players have been practicing really hard, even in this unpredictable weather, because it is pretty cold outside. And our players are ready to take on the Knights tomorrow night and keep hustling for the rest of the season. This season, I think it's going to go pretty well. Um, we started the season pretty well, so hopefully that continues. And my goal is to make playoffs and go far, hopefully state. So. I think we've done pretty well so far. I'm looking forward to winning more games, and my goal is to make it to playoffs and hopefully go pretty far. So far, soccer has had a great season. And once again, they'll be playing the Knights here tomorrow. So be sure to grab a blanket, get some fuzzy socks, get some friends, and go out and support. And lastly for today, our wrestlers will be competing in the Coyote Classic this Saturday. They are also currently preparing for districts, which will start in two weeks. We're improving a lot and it's overall been a lot better than we have in the past so we're hoping to go far this year. Uh, I've gotten a lot better with my technique and my aggression. I mean I've been wrestling some of the same people since like sophomore year and uh, just to see how I've improved going, going up against those people is uh, comforting for me and helps me build my confidence for the rest of the season. If you missed anything I said, you can check out the Heritage Athletics website at www.goheritagecoyotes.com. You can find schedules, rosters, and news on there. Well, until next time, I'm Ash Shanice, and that was your Pat Greek Out. A few weeks ago, we asked you guys a trivia question about the Golden Gloves for a chance to win an Andy's gift card. We have CNTV's Maya Reedy here to announce the winner. Hi. Well, the trivia question was, what water product did Kellett Cuthbert photobomb with at the Golden Globes? Your answer choices were Daysani, Fiji Water, Vitamin Water Zero, and Smart Water. And the winner was Corinne McCaskill. Congratulations on winning your Andy's gift card. Now, moving on to something special to celebrate Heritage's 10th year, we asked teachers to send us a picture of them from 10 years ago and a picture of them from now. And I'm sure all of y'all have seen the 10 year challenge all over your feeds on social media, on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, anything really. Well, we asked Dr. Gray, Miss Waters, and Mr. Mims to join us in celebrating. First up, we have Miss Waters, sporting that fanny pack from 2009. Next, we have Dr. Gray, and honestly, does she even age? And lastly, we have Mr. Mims with that fresh cut from 2009 as well. Thank you guys for helping us celebrate. And now class of 2019, it's your chance to help us. We want y'all to send us your high school transformation, a picture from freshman year and a picture from senior year, and tweet us, DM us on Twitter at CountNationTV with those photos to help us. All right, well, we'll be right back after this short break. Thank you to everyone who entered answers for our trivia and thanks for our awesome staff for, for participating in the 10-year challenge. Seniors, also don't forget we want to see your high school transformation, so be sure to send them to us on Twitter. I'm Sahele. And I'm Ash Schneetz. And, and you, you stay, stay classy, classy Coyotes. You should send your transformation.